Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the passwordless future of WordPress security. And as most of you know, iTheme Security offers you several different ways to secure your WordPress website. And by design, a lot of these features will make it more difficult to access the WordPress dashboard. And many of you are probably familiar with the WordPress best, best practices of using a unique password on every single site. 91% of people know they should use a unique password on every single site, but 59% of people still choose to use the same password everywhere. This means that they could make your site vulnerable if their credentials were a part of a database dump. Now, the reason why 90% of Gmail users don't use two-factor authentication is that it adds an extra step to their already busy day. And the reason why only 12% of internet users actually use a password manager is because they're already too tired to think about having to manage something else. Now, we understand why people don't follow security best practices, but it doesn't make it any less critical. According to research done by Google, doing two-factor will pre prevent 100% of bot attacks and 99% of bulk phishing attacks. Now, there is a changing mindset surrounding cybersecurity. Security professionals are starting to realize that the onus is on us to make it easier for users to secure their website and personal accounts. With that new mindset, we at iThemes created a way for you to lock down your WordPress website while making it easier to log in. The new passwordless login method in iSIM Security Pro will allow you to lock down your website requiring two-factor authentication and the use of strong passwords, and it's going to allow you to refuse compromised passwords while still allowing people to log into your site with the click of a button. Now, before we go and show off the magic links feature, let's go ahead and talk about how you can use iSIM Security to lock down your WordPress website. All right, now that we're in the iTheme security setting, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lock down our WordPress login. Now, the very first adjustment I'm going to make is going to be in the password requirement setting. Now, currently, I am only forcing strong passwords on administrator users. Now, I'm going to change this down to subscriber, and here's why. If you have a subscriber to your site or a customer, and they are using a weak password and their account gets hacked, they're not going to blame their weak password. They're going to blame you. So let's go ahead and take the extra precaution and protect their information by forcing them to use strong passwords. Now, I'm also going to remove the compromised passwords for the same reason. So if it, their password has appeared in a database dump, we're going to go ahead and refuse that password. Because again, they're not going to blame their password. They're going to blame you if any information from their account becomes compromised. So let's go ahead and save those settings. All right, now let's go ahead and adjust our two-factor settings. All right, so currently I only have the user type protection, which is going to force specific user roles to use two-factor authentication. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this down to all users. Because here's what's going to happen. So now that we're going to have passwordless login enabled, Again, they're going to be able to log in still with a click of a button. But anyone using the traditional login method, i.e. a bot scour on the internet, just attempting brute force attacks, they're going to have to deal with the additional two-factor requirement. So again, this is going to add another layer of security to your site. All right, now that we have our WordPress login locked down, let's go ahead and log out and let's take a look at what the traditional login looks like with these extra security precautions. All right, so we have our WordPress login locked down. So I'm going to have to enter in my username, enter in a um, unique password that I have to use a password manager to keep track of, and then I need to log in. All right, and now I'm going to have to enter my two-factor code, which means I need to get my Authy app out. Copy, paste, click Authenticate, and I'm logged in. Now, the issue with this is that it's hard to get most people to want to use a password manager, and it's hard to get people to want to add an extra step every time they log into any account. So what we're going to do now is we're going to enable the password login feature. Let's go back to our security settings. Let's click enable. Now let's configure the settings. And now I'm going to enable it for all users. I'm going to, um, it's going to be enabled by default 
for every single user, which means they're gonna have the option automatically uh, the next time they log in. We're gonna allow two-factor to be bypassed for all users. And then um, we're gonna have the username first login method. Now let's go ahead and save the settings. And now let's log in and see, let's see what it looks like now that we have an easier and secure method to log in. So let's log out. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that the password or the login flow has changed some. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to enter in your username. And then what you're gonna see is, okay, you want an easier way to log in. You can send a magic link, or if you prefer, you can still use the traditional WordPress uh, username and password method of logging in. But I'm gonna go ahead and send myself a magic uh, link, a magic email that's gonna send me a password login link. Now let's go take a look and see what that email looks like. All right, here we are in my email inbox. I can see that I got the email that has my passwordless login link. And now all I have to do to log in is click the login now button. It's gonna open up a new tab and then log me into the WordPress dashboard. All right, here we are in our WordPress dashboard. And as we can see, we have a very easy way to log in, but any bot that's scouring the internet just looking for WordPress login to attack is still going to have to use the traditional method of logging in using a username and password. Now, let's say for some reason, even though you now have the ability to force everyone to use a unique password that has not been part of a compromise without sacrificing the usability, the likelihood of the bot guessing the correct password is pretty slim. But let's say if they do, you've locked it down even harder by requiring an extra two-factor password. And as Google uh, stated in their research is that these generic brute force attacks, 100% of them are blocked with using two-factor authentication. So you get to lock down the your site without sacrificing any of the usability. You get to make it harder for these bots attacking your site to log in, but making it easier for the actual users of your site to log in. Now that is a great thing about the passwordless login, and that's why I'm so excited about this new feature in iTheme Security Pro. All right, hey, thanks so much guys for watching and have a great day.